Hey, this is Brandon. We're out here at 229 North Main Street in Boonesboro. Uh, doing a preliminary walkthrough. Uh, just trying to get some uh, values of a house. Uh, taking some measurements and uh, try to figure out what this thing's going to cost to get fixed up. If you don't know us yet, this is my dad Brian. My brother Andrew's over there around the corner taking some measurements. This is a small family business. This is the entire company right here, the three of us. Um, we are local licensed contractors, and uh, we do get into flipping a couple houses a year. We hold on to rental properties, and this is how we make our living. This is our bread and butter. All right, we've already talked with the homeowner. We've already established our price. We have our contract and everything all set up on the place. Before we go to settlement on this house, we today is all about coming out to the project, getting all of our measurements, and doing our due diligence, making sure that this project is going to cost what we think it's going to cost. We're going to drive around town. We've already established our comps in the area. We're going to physically go to those comps, make sure that they are comparable to this house, make sure that we know what this property is going to sell for at the end of the project. Uh, just to make sure that we've done all of our due diligence on this uh, investment before we actually go to settlement and we purchase it. So you only have a certain amount of time to do that. We want to make sure that we have done everything we possibly can to make sure that we've protected our investors and to make sure that everybody's happy when it's all said and done. Oh, so that is the actual yeah. summer kitchen. Yeah. Well, <laughs> kitchen, I guess, not summer kitchen. <laughs> Ooh, got a soft floor here, too. Ooh, real soft floor. Yeah. Well, if with no gutter being on this side, that's probably... Oh, yeah. All, look at all this knob and tube wiring. Knob and tube wiring everywhere. Now, it's actually cut right there, though, so I don't know. I'd say it'll probably need to be rewired. One bedroom, two, three, and four. Man, but they're all walkthroughs. Well, that was, I'm pretty sure this would have to be a bathroom. Well, it was a bathroom. So three bedrooms, but I think you'd be better off making this a hallway, bringing this wall in here and over to here. Otherwise, all you have is a walkthrough bedroom. Be a terrible size bedroom for the bigger one. Yeah. But you need a closet. So there's a closet here. So you need a closet in that room somewhere. I tell you, I'd probably get rid of this door and put a little closet right yeah. here or even run a closet right here for this room. Yeah, yeah, especially if you're going to block uh, it off. Check the attic out. Yeah, it looks nice up here with all the new metal. Thin boards up here though. We got some crumbling brick. Some old doors. <laughs> Don't build them like they used to. <laughs> A little peephole going down there. Oh, 
I'd, I bet you this is early 1800s with the with I, all I those. I would say with the, with the log and the, the hatchet the outside of it. Yeah. Well, the hatchet marks that are in the logs. Yeah. The size of them. All right, so you got a cast stack. Do you guys look at the plumbing downstairs? Oh, well, there is no plumbing. Well, there's a cast. There's a cast vent right here. Yeah, I mean not. And then it looks like a sink. No, no, it's all gonna have to still be taken out. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's truly a yeah. How's it going? It's good. How's it going, Ray? Oh, not too bad. Looks like there's water coming out of that. Insulation's falling down. An oil tank there, some pump. Doesn't look like we have access to it underneath the kitchen. Sewer and clean out. Have to do something with the stonework. Yeah, it's wet. It's all wet. See the light coming in there. That's the main beam for the house. I was just in the basement. I was just in the basement. Huh? How's that look? Wet. Wet? Yep. A lot of mortar coming out of the stones. It's going to have to be pointed up. and Sump pump down there going to nowhere. I mean, the Oil the tanks down there. Everything's solid. It just needs... It just needs everything. <laughs> yeah. It needs everything. Except for windows.
that's all. <laughs> well, I mean, of course, it's not even touching. It's not even touching. It, so that's really there's no. They're relying on the beams. four-inch line coming down, which I guess goes we'll clean underneath out. this concrete and into the front street. Well, that's probably, that's so there's probably that, yeah. It does have the water cut off, but is there any pipes? Looks like the water heater and stuff was probably sitting over here before. Yeah. Uh, there's the top to it, but yeah, all the plumbing's ripped out. The other thing is, the kitchen is actually in that summer kitchen. Huh? <laughs> and and the look, the pipes ran back through here. So there's, I mean, without rip, I mean, the floor needs to be ripped out of it anyhow. Is there a way to get to the summer kitchen from the inside of the house? Yes. I, yeah, I guess I didn't get back there. Yeah, before. but, uh, and I'm yeah. assuming that this is probably, this hole here is probably, uh, is, how, is how you get under that. But that is a uh, yeah. pretty packed full of stuff. Well, from a historic standpoint, this is a hell of a neat house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's it just, man, it, 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 you're talking a lot of money. Now we need to add some stuff up and crank yeah. some numbers. Man, am I glad to be out of that basement. All right, so take a look at this house. Um, you're probably getting the idea that this is not your uh, HGTV flip. Um, this is a real house. It's, a, it's an old historic house in a historic town. Um, we've done historic preservation on, on houses uh, for, for years, so this isn't something that scares us all. Um, the, the main structure of the house looks pretty good. It's got some issues, a couple things that we weren't expecting. Uh, but it, it's nothing that's that's going to be uh, a, a complete game changer. You know, it's, it's nothing that's going to completely kill the deal. Uh, the big thing is we know what we have. So now we're we're going to ride around town. We're going to take a look at the comps that we've already pulled in the office before we made our offer. Uh, we are going to go physically ride by these places. Now, obviously, these are places that have already sold within the last year or two. Now, we try to get them as recent as possible, but so there's people living in these places. We're not gonna be able to go take a look at the inside of them, but we can see the pictures online. We can ride past the outside, get an idea of, of you know, how the house is, uh, is laid out, you know, where it's at on the street, see, see if it actually is comparable to the property that we're buying, making sure that we're making a good investment. So we're gonna ride around, take a look at our comps, and then we're gonna head back to the office make sure that everything is where it needs to be and um, if everything checks out we're going to go ahead and uh, and call our title company and um, and set up set up uh, our settlement well thanks for checking us out this has been brandon with directhousebuyers.com stay tuned for more updates on our projects and remember to hit that subscribe button and if you know anybody that needs to sell their house have them give us a call or send us a text message at 301-660-6063 or visit our website at directhousebuyers.com.